the more it was obvious that events were happening down that up and down that corridor. And the Mount Wilson Ranch was part of that corridor. And so I thought, well, it could be an interesting laboratory. And so that's why I bought it. I wanted stuff that was literally in your face or chasing you in your car, you know, or you're sitting outside the, the restaurant and uh, you're seeing this literally football stadium uh, craft drifting across your town, you know. And uh, so <clears throat> those are really interesting accounts. There is a ranch in Nevada, less than 80 miles from Area 51, that was secretly researched by Bob Bigelow's original Skinwalker Ranch team of psychic spies. For decades, while simultaneously researching Skinwalker Ranch, the NIDS team was searching for the lost entrance into a giant cave system of ancient alien artifacts, an abandoned alien mining operation leading to a 500-foot underground pyramid hiding a UFO nicknamed the Mount Wilson Manta Ray. For thousands of years, indigenous people have known and protected its secrets. For decades, top secret government teams, even before Ronald Reagan's Star Wars program, were scouring the ranch attempting to recover the metamaterials, biological material and ancient unknown artifacts, and were stopped by an explosion of paranormal activity, animal mutilations, alien abductions, poltergeist activity, moving orbs of light and shadow figures, strange glitches in time, and the ghost of a Native American shaman appearing along with three extraterrestrial beings who protect the land. Now, new leaked whistleblower evidence has confirmed the truth behind these local legends. New ancient artifacts are being discovered and mysterious energy is transmitting from the meadow and an undiscovered tunnel entrance has been found. Independent researchers, scientists, archaeologists, and Native American historians have joined me, Carl Crusher, to uncover the truth. We are on a mission to find the lost entrance into the underground and uncover the real mystery of Mount Wilson Ranch. One night, we're looking up in the sky, and this unidentified flying object, this UFO, is doing figure eights right and it keeps doing them and doing them and so they stand there and they're watching this and then it deviates dramatically and it shoots off at low altitude right into the mountain itself a craft go right into that mountain and disappear Thank i you. hope it's a taste of uh, bigger things to come soon over at your place stalagmites stalactites all of this could had be. a vision imagine really yeah i did you Maybe saw Stalagmites and Flowing stalactites. water dripping from the ceiling, just, yeah. Nice. Little, little wonderland. Could be. Right? Right over there. We'll find out soon. I forgot to mention, by the way, guys, I made a new necklace that's going to be for sale on eBay. So make sure and check the link in my link tree. I'm wearing this this entire trip to all of these amazing sites. I just wore it down into the abandoned mine all over Mount Wilson and everywhere on this entire adventure. So you can go bid on this on eBay and help uh, support the research. This is all, this. you know what this reminds me of is that little structure up on the property by the abandoned mines by your place, how the, the roof fell straight down and sits just like this on the ground. Oh, and there's an entrance right there. Is that another portal going in? No, I think that was maybe a food storage, believe it or not. Oh, it, like a cellar. Looks like a lot of cans in there, yeah. Gotcha. But there was one right here when they closed that one off recently. Somebody's shoe in there. Yeah, see how the roof just fell straight down off the, the walls? That's Probably crazy. Collapse. Wow. Well, there's the crows or the ravens. They were just, they were on the building. They were just there? Yeah. Wow, waiting for us. What are these, Jeff? These are charcoal ovens. Charcoal Kilns. ovens. Kilns. So people don't understand a lot of times the scale of these kilns. So there's all the uh, <clears throat> coked out piles over there where they've already burned all the stuff off of it. And the old settlement. So what time period or era would these have been put in? Oh gosh, I would say 1880s. 1880s, so some sometime around the same era then. So they've yeah. got, look at all these. Oh, these are just huge. I mean, if you turn around, look, so we're on the backside of the Bristols now. Right, so that's the mountain that we were just in in the caves over there. Yeah. 
Bristol, the town of Bristol is up there. Where gotcha. It's an actual full home, you know, a full town site up there behind the gates. All right. Absolutely historic, glass intact, everything. A perfect little. That's cool. Yeah, mining everywhere back there though. All up in there. So that whole mountain's like Swiss cheese. Yeah, that mountain. That mountain specifically right there is Swiss cheese. Wow. A lot of mining history. There's a lot of the results of it. This is what we make the coke, basically. I honestly did not realize how large these were. I've always imagined them being like smaller, like beehive size or something when you see photos of them. But these are big. These are like giant houses. Like, did I ever show you the like, this? You know, there's one right on Mount Wilson. Like, three minutes from the ranch. Really? Yeah. A big one of these? It's not as big as this, but there is a kill enough. There is one of these. That's crazy. But, I mean, look at the scale here when you come up here. All the way up. It's like two and a half stories tall. <laughs> Jeff just dipped inside the doorway. Look at this. Wow. So cool. What the what? Whoa. It's all burned up in here. So they just built giant fires and- Apparently there would be like something going across. Like they'd be poking these holes. Yeah. And then I guess the fire would be- Oh yeah, there. I see. So they had like, basically like a whole bars or something, metal going across yeah, here like a big- of sorts. Maybe a fire under here and the wood up above here. So then they would just pile all the stuff in here, all their ore, burn it down, and then they would get the minerals out of the... No, no, I think this is how they converted wood to coke. Oh. So they actually took wood and they did something to it in a burning process and then converts it to coke, and coke burns hotter than wood. So then what coke. would they use the coke for? To burn so, in to their... To smelt. Then they could smelt ore out. That's what you see over there. So here they made the coke. Wow. And then the coke was used to like get the fire hot enough. And again. So it was stages of the process. So they had to have a fire that would burn hot enough. And so they had to make the coke to get the fire hot enough. Yep. Gotcha. Yep. See, this is all new. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't know. Like like We're standing inside of one, getting the history right now. <laughs> so a lot of you out there may have already known all of that, but still very cool. And again, it might not be exactly correct, but it's it's pretty much what I understand. Yeah. You know, that's how they converted. Those people had to make everything themselves. Yeah. So in order to make something that would burn hot enough, they had to convert something, which was wood, to this product but if there's three of these giant structures you're talking major major operation serious mining That's major why swiss investment cheese over there swiss cheese mountain yeah. over there wow yeah it definitely gives you another perspective like you said like the ancients and the others we're just this is the near ancients to us you know these are our our near ancestors and right they were Look at what they built. They the were intense nowhere. about this too. Yeah, they yeah. didn't have anything to build this stuff for them. They didn't have a factory to build it. They built this stuff themselves. They were hydraulic and steam powered or muscle. Every, everything. Like just to build like this Steampunk metal. or die. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, look, at, look, look at this. Can yeah. Imagine that. Just even making this stuff. I think this one has frames around the windows themselves or something up there. Man. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. I noticed the frame on the last mm -hmm. when we were in there, yeah. That middle. And this is all, I mean, even just imagine building this up and you're just like making the mortar as you go, stacking these rocks that you're like basically hand fitting together and you just cone them up and make these giant <laughs> fire chimneys. <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. What a what a time of history to be alive and doing all this stuff. And there's three of these giant things here. Wow. And you wouldn't even know, it's just like in the middle of nowhere out here. You wouldn't 
know that there was a, you know, in, in the past, there's a, one or two buildings standing still, but maybe upwards of a thousand different buildings back here. It used to be a whole town. Yeah. Is that a jet flying over? That's something in the sky. Something cloaked, <laughs> invisible is flying over, making a loud noise that you can't see. Well, now you're in a zone. We're Remember right the by Area range. 51 in the Nevada test site here. Yeah. This is all the Tonopah test range, all military airspace, all the way to Utah. Wow. Right there, all the way to Tonopah and further. Dude, there is a big something up something there, right? flying overhead and you can't see it i think there's like seven of them up there there's seven of these up there's seven of them north of here into like just south of ely so crazy yeah this is a big deal back then they were on to it look at this <laughs> that's cool that they're still here and nobody's tore them all down you know but yeah. what a cool spot okay where are we going to next jeff Let's make our way over to White Rock. We're going to White Rock where the petroglyphs are, toward Alamo, where Mike said when the Native American indigenous people, the Northern Paiute and Shoshone that were up at Mount Wilson Ranch, when it was this time of year and it started getting cold in the air, they had to migrate and follow the animals and everything down into the warmer climate. And that's where we're going to go and see what their life was like down there. Their habitat. Their habitat, as well as the ancient carvings that could be older than the pyramids of Egypt. 11,000, 15,000 years old. They go way back and there isn't any good interpretations of them and I haven't seen them before. So it's gonna be really cool to go check them out. There's nothing out here, man. This is crazy. There is a vehicle ahead of us though. And we're, Amazingly enough, yeah. We're catching up on it too. Yeah, this is just the flats in between Highway 93 and Highway 318. Jeez. Just part of Nevada. Yes. Really though, it does show you that the world's getting crowded. <laughs> right? Wow. We are following our intuition <clears throat> to look for petroglyphs along this cliff face. And so Jeff just opened the fence for us. We're gonna drive back here just for a little bit and see if we can spot anything. We've driven further up the road and found this spot along the canyon that definitely has some graffiti. But I think there might be something underneath the graffiti that looks much older, so let's go look. This is a prime suspect for one. But as I look through it, uh, it just looks like graffiti and what I thought might be these gray patches might have been older rock art, but it's not. But yeah, it just looks like Modern man. Locals have come up here and done this. Well, look how high that cliff is. Wow. I don't see any ancient carvings here, though. Okay, onward. Onward. <laughs> I do see webs falling through the sky, though. You still see webs? I just saw a few webs. Ooh. Okay. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's a long one, too. Ew. Yo! Here <laughs> comes the ghost. Woo Here we go to site number two. Maybe over here. You say it looks like over there? So far, nothing. No. Right? Nothing. We've been uh, going up and down these canyons, but we're gonna wind up finding petroglyphs before this is over. We're just trying to go up every single dirt road that we hit, trying to get lucky to get some of the closest ones we can find to Mount Wilson, other than ones that might be up, what did you call it, Indian Playground? Yeah. Indian That's Square. at Wheeler's Peak? No, backside Where? of Mount Wilson. Backside of Mount Wilson. And then in the valley in the backside, there are some petroglyphs back there I've been to on private property. Cool. Which I'm sure we can get access to. Okay, we're on an adventure. We're gonna see if we can get, either get the truck stuck or find petroglyphs. <laughs> this must be the site, preserving the past. White River Narrows Archaeological District. 
you were saying it has great basin range, has two main right rock art styles, the Fremont tradition and the basin range tradition. So you've got, these are pictographs. These are the petroglyphs. Look at these horned figures with the energy coming out of the wall like that. That's cool. We found it. We almost turned around half a dozen times on this road to nowhere. And we were convinced we were all the way back and hitting the highway again because it's right there. And then all of a sudden, boom, the road dead ends and there's a box over here. Show sure enough. Here it is. We found the spot. So there's a sign in book White River Narrows Rock Art today. District. Hey, from Boulder City, Nevada. Cool on you guys. So we're going to sign in. You should keep a brochure and bring it back, and we're going to go check it out. This is really cool. Yeah. These petroglyphs would have been made by the same people that were dwelling up at Mount Wilson Ranch. And in the wintertime, they would have come down here and been hanging out from here all the way over to Alamo. Through the White River Gap. Probably on boats. They would have come down the White River on reed boats and then taken a detour up the Craw Creek right up to your property, to your backyard in the meadow. Amazing. So cool. So let's go see what they drew on the walls back in the day. It's all right in there. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> After you. Let's go. This is getting picked up on the camera. These are old, Jeff. Old, old, old. Even up there, look, there's a nice tree. A tree going up. And there's a little picture of the silver. Look, there's this spiral. This is like a it's like a foot underneath the spiral. Right there going up. Look at this is like a it looks like a comet coming down from the sky. Look here's like a foot with toes. One, two, three. I think it has more toes. And this looks like a comet coming down here. Another one over here. See the spiral? And then there's like figures, the lines coming off, coming down, and then this looks like a foot almost. Here's like this whole arch, the line and the T coming down with these scratches. What is that depicting? This with the lines coming off. I have no idea on that. Markers. Look at this. Wow. It's like Stone Age communication, man. It's so cool. Here's this curve. This is like a really early depiction of an antelope with the two legs coming down. This is like caveman art, dude. This is old. So cool. All the way down. Do you see the ones that look like like meteorites coming down? <laughs> yeah, or spaceships landing. Bursting the burst over there. Yeah. Which one? Oh yeah, the burst coming out, yeah. And how many toes are here? And they clambered all the way up there and carved that. Wow. Crazy, dude. These are so cool, man. Wow. Look at the drill hole down here. They dug that way in there. Here comes up. 
This almost looks like the symbol of pi. And then this line, the streaks coming down. Look at these little hash marks here. Look at this. Looks like a lizard or a serpent. What's that down there? This whole cliff face is carved. Look. Like a turtle. Yeah. See this whole face is lined. See that? Yeah. And then you come up here. Wow. Look, they got these holes drilled in. And then these straight lines coming down the whole wall here. Like this. And these holes bored in. Underneath all of this. One, two, three. This looks like an arrow pointing this way. Again, going down into the crack right there. These look a little newer, they could be. This is all smoothed off here and here. Like they would come up and touch this. They were straightening, rounding off arrows and like straightening it's like they were getting ready to go hunt right here or something. Look at this notching. All this is carved in and smoothed off. Like, like hundreds of people have come up and touched this wall with their hands or rubbed something against this like it was special to them. It's like red pigment there or something. Doesn't it? It's totally, see how, what I mean? It's smoothed off like a matate. And then this is like, See, there's like an animal with the line going down. Man, it almost looks like a dinosaur or something. The big long tail. <laughs> That's crazy. And then down low here. This is almost like a hunting motif, like before you go on a journey. But how they carve that and it's all smoothed off. If... That's crazy. Those smooth spots. See, it's like they intentionally carved this here with these lines and this here they accentuated and they wanted this to be red. Like this is a whole scene all together. That's beautiful. Wow. More drill holes over here in a circle and more of these lines. rubbed in and smoothed off spots like they were coming here and touching the wall like it was sacred or something wow oh jeff my friend wow look at the arms look at how it looks like this the mummies from peru Little three fingers. the mexican yeah. mummies with the arms out like that mm. what the what Oh, that was weird. So look at, look at your... Watch out for the spider webs. Look at this again. Yes, all the touching and the rubbing. So this is like a sacred wall, right? So they were... Yeah, it's over there on those. All the smoothed off touching, they were coming up. This is like a spirit wall. Wow, look at these deity figures all along here. Look at this, dude. Yeah. So we have this star. This is a symbol of the that you see in the that the Anunnaki did in Samaria all the time that one and the foot again look at this entity with no legs the three arms look at the how the shoulders and the head are like it's hovering and then the scraping next to it so deep in there and yeah like you said above it is all the hand rubbing where they've come up and been touching the wall, like they're tr communicating through the other dimension, right? Through the, through the doorway. Look at this line going in to the wall here. These antelope down below. It's like a whole Boy, that's really spiritual event. Yeah, look at these fellas. Here's another one of these guys. 
And then this one, look at his hands and the eyes are dug in like this, like jellyfish people or something. Deep. Whatever that is. Man, they look like pod people. Look like they have like rockets coming down with hands. Like, look, why would they carve it that deep in the at the feet? Look at the tiny little head with the two eyes in the top. Four fingers going straight out. And then look at how much they've been touching the wall. You know what some of this rubbed, rubbed off stuff is? Is people coming back to clean up graffiti too. Oh, okay. So it's rubbed off because people spray painted and it's been restored. But look at these entities with the little heads inside the pods with the arms out like this. Wow. Those are wild, dude. Wow. Man, this guy is so crazy. This starts over here. It goes and goes. Oh man, look, there's even glyphs down here in the bottom. What the, holy, holy crap, man, look at that. It's like a giant timeline etched out. Look at that, like they were marking the years or something. Bum, 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 of events and things. And then they had, these animals they got. wow. And then they've got, oh, look at all these symbols. Here's this again. Yep. Right? Yep. Here's this. Wow. Look at the giant foot with all these toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or it's a pond or a splash or something. Wow. And old stuff down below, even. <clears throat> oh, there's that white arm, dude. There's even, yeah, squiggly arm symbols and guys all over. Person. Look at all these, like, symbols. This is wild. Look at this animal here. Look how long it is, this animal. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Wow. There's five toes. Five toes. Whoa. Look at the spirals and stuff. All these. Look at this is like a. And it goes all the way off the edge and the dots going up. Yeah, look at the, there's that guy again, yeah. With the shoulders out. Mm -hmm. And look at all the feet. Wow. Unbelievable. And it goes on and on and on and on. It's just unreal. They carved this all the way around this line. Beautiful. <clears throat> Just keeps going and going and going, Jeff. There's like upside down dudes. Giant spirals. Right there. Yeah, these guys look pretty darn cool. Whatever happened to that guy? He looks like he got splattered out. Whoa! 
missiles or bombs coming down. Yo, look at that. Three in a row, four, one down below here coming off the leg. Comes up and look at this symbol above the head. See how the squared shoulders come off and the hands come out? And this arm has a whole motif that comes off and connects down. So this being has this line coming all the way down here into all these symbols below. And then here's this entire figure. See the wavy line going? And you have these three figures and they're all touching hands together. Look, this one looks, look at the head. Oh my God, they look like, look on the camera, Jeff. They look like aliens. <laughs> look at the heads. Look at the eyes. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. Look at this one. Look at the way they did the head. That is super E.T. looking, man. The way the eyes are down low like that. Look at that. I don't even know what to say, man. The tiny little legs. What's coming down off below? All these dots and the lines. Whoa. Look at how the faces are like alien heads, man. That is crazy. Car clear up off the top. Like they're just coming out from the sky, coming down. And these, these are bodies without arms. This is a head with horns. And this is like a tunic and abdomen, but where's the arms and the legs? Where's the arms and the legs? Doesn't make any sense. They're just like embodiments. See, it's just like a symbol of a figure with the head, but then there's no legs. They're all these anthropomorphic humanoid things. Bizarre, dude. These are cool. Yep. So you can see where the truck is right there. Ding. And we've been walking along this whole ridge and it's just endless. There's so much cool shit, Jeff. This is so cool. Yeah, probably what we can't see. Imagine what's faded off and worn away and falling I, off. And you're exactly right. And now you see what I say? I mean, I could take you to endless places like this across Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico all the way up even into Colorado and Wyoming, across the entire country. And these types of glyphs and symbols, this is, once you go this way, there's no turning back. That's what that symbol means. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, and so see, I've seen that clear over at the uh, Anasazi Trail, Petroglyphs by Snow Canyon. Yeah, there were no sign-in maps or anything. Yeah. Sign-in boxes, so I guess you had to... Right. That, that looks just like he's had a calendar. Yes, but did you notice how how many of these figures actually look like people, no, humans? Yeah, none, none. You see antelope and animals and lizards and turtles and things, and then but then you see what look do not look like humans. They look alien. I hate to say that word, but they, they one of these other timelines. Those could have been what we're here. Who knows? Right. Look at this whole like story. There's like a. Stuff, symbols coming up, wave lines, old, old stuff, and then there's newer things. See, I've seen this over at the Del Mar petroglyphs as well. And look at this whole wall with just like chunks of basalt lava rock in it. That looks like a, like a ladder or something. Honeycomb looking. There's some more over there, old ones looking ones. Did not know that these were right off of the highway. That's incredible. Welcome to the Crusher Crew, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we do all day, every day. Oh, these are 
It's so cool. I'm having such a fun day, Jeff. Hey, rattlesnake. Check it out, Jeff. It just crawled down this whole freaking crack. We made it. There's the black mailbox. I'm using my night vision right now. Something loud is coming right at us. There it is, I got it. I got it. You see it just hovering there? Look at all these off to the right of it. 